Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. Is it worth becoming an autonomo in Spain, considering the costs and benefits compared to other countries? Now let's see the specific question of this Spain Guru community member. Is becoming an autonomo in Spain a mistake, considering the costs of social security, or are the benefits and lower cost of living worth it in comparison to other countries like the Netherlands? Now let's see the answers of Spain Guru community members. First answer, it does balance it out and it basically forces you to make a clever decision and not randomly become self-employed. I am from the Netherlands myself and have been living here for five years. There's nothing to be scared about. Next answer, it would have to be a well-considered decision in terms of the work you do and the supply of work you have. Don't forget the tax return every three months. But if you are prepared to really commit to a budget and a lifestyle you can afford, everything is possible. Next answer, of course, you need to make some money, but that's why you earn more as self-employed. You need to cover all expenses. Just do it and see if it works. You can stop at any time. Don't forget that during the first two years, you have a heavily reduced social security payment, which is 80 euros per month. Next answer, it depends on what you are comparing to. So compared to the UK, it's bad and expensive. Add the fact that you have to pay an accountant to manage your quarterly and end of the year, but that usually means paying them a monthly retainer, so it's like an extra tax. The authorities don't really like freelancers, this is my perception, and audits are possibility, and it seems more common than anywhere else I've lived. Plus, you can't easily take benefits, like sick pay or unemployment, and your allowance for climbing business expenses is very low in my opinion. Next answer, there are lots of things to consider. Firstly, will you have a consistent enough invoicing to pay the social security each month? If yes, ultimately you will get a SIP card for your healthcare, but most people still pay for private healthcare too. We have been autonomous here for five years and I recently got a pension calculation for if I retired at 66, and the amount is very poor as I will only have had 16 years of contributions. You really need over 20 years to get a good pension. Finally, it does depend on where you live. We have lived in Alicante and Javea in the same province, both for over two years. It was much cheaper living in Alicante city than it is living in Javea. Next answer, Spain isn't self-employed friendly. The state doesn't like autonomous. They try to change things, but they complicated them so hard that even their accountants can't figure it out. Yet a non-Spanish speaker. To round up, it is financial suicide to be self-employed. Benefits, not much. Public healthcare is hell. Now you can be self-employed in the Netherlands with an EU VAT number and work or live in Spain. Next answer. If you're willing to work hard in a well-paid industry, then being an autonomo is fine. I think that if you earn less than 2,000 euros per month, it can be tricky. Next answer. People will always complain about what they have to pay. When I was an employee, my boss showed me what she was paying for my social security and I was shocked that it also explained why the wages are lower here. So employees might not technically be paying themselves, but they still are. The healthcare here is so much better than in Ireland. I can't speak for other countries. I am pregnant, but I have no stress or worries about public or private healthcare. I don't earn a huge amount in the first place, but I still think it's worth it. Next answer. If you're making a Netherlands wage living in Spain, yes, it will be cheaper overall than living in the Netherlands when you take into account all the costs of living. But many of us compare it to the UK, which is pretty brutal. However, the UK is a broken system, so it's not an ideal comparison really. It depends where you compare it to. Next answer. Yes, the taxes are high, but the cost of living is less and the weather is amazing. I was self-employed in the UK, where I was taxless. However, for me, the other advantages balance it out. The Spanish health system is brilliant. 
your first two years social security payments are reduced and then you pay according to your income. I suggest you pay a recommended gestor to set you up for the first year at least. Next answer. I had an LTD company in the UK which cost me a lot more than being autonomo as accountancy fees were higher. My accountant here charges 36 euros a month for submitting quarterly returns and provision of bookkeeping software. I add in my invoices and expenses and they do the rest. I pay a little more if I want specific business advice and for my year-end calculations and submission. Cost of living is lower than in UK and quality of life is better too. Do your maths, make sure you have enough savings in case. Work out the pros and cons, learn a little Spanish, have an open mind, understand that work is work wherever you are in the world, recognize it's not all sunshine and sangria and bills still need to get paid. Understand that you have to work harder than a local to get stuff done due to the language and difference in culture. Buckle up and get ready for the ride of your life and enjoy. Always invest in getting professional advice for your personal circumstances. Next answer. I agree, but it does depend on where you're from, I guess. I am from the Netherlands and although the monthly social security amount in Spain is quite high, you do get healthcare without any co-payments pension and sick leave in return which you all have to pay for privately in the Netherlands if you choose to do so. Next answer. The answer depends on your particular case but broad parts to consider are the following. Number one is the cost of living in the location. This is equivalent to boosting your income by 50% compared to the Netherlands. Number two. Social security is actually not high by European standards. The problem is more that for low earners, which is less than 15,000 euros, the rates are very high as a share of income, as the minimum post-introductory rate is around 235 euros per month. But middle earners actually pay less than Germany, France, Italy, etc. Holland is lower taxing, but not by much. 3. Clients in Spain usually pay less than Dutch clients for the same work due to more competition and lower costs, etc. Basically, if your client base will remain the same, secure international clients. You will be in almost all scenarios better off with the cost of living unless your earnings are under 15,000 euros. On the other hand, if your income would fall, moving location would be a very important factor. Next answer. You need to have an income stream from Central North Europe in order to live well. Next answer. I think most people complaining about the costs are from a country with a weak or no social system, hence the low payments for social security. In most EU countries, you would pay much more social security than here. The other half of complaint is from people who charge for their work too low rates. They believe that is the way to stay competitive so they charge same as an employee would get and forget to add the 30% for social security and 10% to cover the business costs like office, computer, software, etc. That's why they live under the wage minimum which is of course frustrating if you work so much. If you manage to charge proper rates you will be fine. I am from Germany and would pay much more social security there. So this and good rates and the sun and cheap life make Spain for me the best country to live. And the final answer. I have been both autonomo in the Netherlands and in Spain. I definitely paid less taxes in the Netherlands, but social security is not so easy to compare. It also depends on where you earn your money. My clients are Dutch while I live and work in Spain. Best of both worlds in my opinion. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. In conclusion, according to Spenguru's Facebook group members, the decision to become an autonomo in Spain depends on various factors and individual circumstances. While some people view the cost of social security as a drawback, 
Others believe that the benefits and lower cost of living in Spain make it worthwhile. The opinions vary with some emphasizing the advantages of living in Spain, such as the pleasant weather and a good healthcare system, while others highlight the complexities of the Spanish tax system and the potential limitations of being self-employed. It is important to consider factors like income stability, client base, location, and personal preferences when evaluating the feasibility of becoming an autonomo in Spain. Therefore, seeking professional advice and carefully assessing one's financial situation can help make an informed decision. If you need expert tax advice, you can find it on spainguru.es. We can recommend you experienced tax advisors for filings in the US and in Spain. Join Spain Guru's community today. You can join our general Spanish immigration group and our dedicated groups for Spanish non-lucrative visa and Spanish digital nomad visa. Our groups together have more than 30,000 members. If you need expert professional advice, we got you covered. Just head to spainguru.es and check out our top menu. You'll find immigration experts, relocation agencies, tax advisors for Spanish and US filings, SORN translators, apostille services, consulate appointment services, and health insurance providers for all types of Spanish visa applications. That includes non-lucrative visa, golden visas, student visas, and digital nomad visas, as well as medical certificates for visa applications and travel health insurance. Finally, I highly recommend you join our weekly newsletter, which we send out every single Monday morning. You'll get tons of information, questions and answers, feature blog posts, and news updates. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.